Hey, what's up guys? Captain Bozzy here, and this is Mass Effect 3 Multiplayer N7 Academy Part 10. And in this episode, we'll be covering the Alliance Infiltration Unit Infiltrator, aka the AIU or the EDBot. So let's take a look at her powers. So just like other infiltrators, of course, you're going to be using Tactical Cloak to be able to maneuver through the battlefield and, of course, to help to revive your teammates. And, of course, one of the big bonuses of the Tactical Cloak is when you're cloaked and you use your gun, and with this build I'm using the Claymore Shotgun, you get a great damage bonus. So it's definitely important on rank 4 to use the B slot rather than the A slot. Of course, the A slot's just for your power duration. And really, you know, your, your recharge speed and the duration is already good where it's at. You get, you know, 5.2 seconds here uh, for your uh, duration of your cloak. So that's, that's really plenty of time. And uh, the damage bonus is much more important. So once again, you just want to cloak and then shoot your gun. And then for rank 5, um, you know, for some infiltrators, I use uh, melee damage or, you know, whatever else is here over the... Uh, recharge speed, but in this case, I'm going to use the uh, recharge speed here simply because I'm not really going to be doing um, Well, I do do a lot of meleeing with her. I don't usually do it while I'm cloaked um, So that's really not going to be of use to me the extra recharge speed there will be useful and then lastly uh, You want some extra shotgun damage uh, So, you know firing while you're cloaked and of course like I said, I'll be using the uh, claymore with this build So of course make sure if you're going to use this Make sure you're using a shotgun, and I'm just using that instead of the fire one power while cloaked, because um, of course the other power you have is uh, snap freeze, and you can already just cloak and use snap freeze, and it's really not a problem. It's really a waste, and, and you know having the shotgun damage is way more useful to you. All right, so moving on to snap freeze, and uh, snap freeze I've got to say is absolutely one of the best. Uh, powers in the game. It has excellent range and um, of course if you use this uh, B slot here for reach you can increase your range by 50% and you know that's extremely useful for uh, priming uh, cryo explosions and if you're, if you're using this kit right you can just be priming basically everything around you just all the time and if you're with a good team um, you know you can, they can detonate your cryo, ex your cryo uh, with Biotic powers with, you know, tech powers with, with anything. So um, that's absolutely something that you want to do. And you can just, you know, shift it left or right once you, uh, you know, shoot out your uh, snap freeze to cover a lot of ground and, and get whole mobs of enemies. And uh, that's that's a really great uh, strategy. So uh, next in line here is cryo explosion. So uh, basically it's just doing some more damage to chilled and frozen targets by 10%. And... Uh, you can really go either way with either of these. Um, personally, I, I think that the movement speed is really not that big of a deal. It's 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 not as important as damage, and also the the duration of the freeze effects. I mean, they they stay frozen for for absolutely long enough already. Because once they're frozen, they're gonna die pretty much immediately anyway. So it's in my opinion not really that useful. And then lastly, here is uh, uh, tech combo. So. Um, once again, this is all about, you know, priming with cryo so that your teammates can, can detonate that cryo explosion for you. And, um, you can also use cryo, uh, or snap freeze to detonate. And you can do that, uh, with yourself if you're using an ammo power such as like, you know, incendiary ammo. And, uh, so you shoot, you know, the, the enemy with your incendiary ammo and that will prime them for a fire explosion. And then you can, uh, detonate that with snap freeze to uh you know, to get that fire explosion so that's what we're going to be doing uh once we get into the game here um so that's why i i personally use uh this tech combo one i mean that's that's by a hundred percent so that's a you know pretty big difference there uh with the damage you can do with those combos and uh so once again you, you know, this is another one that you could really go either way um you know you're damaged by 40 percent and uh Weakening armored targets, it's not as important, but that increased damage is definitely important too. If you really want to use uh, Snap Freeze more as just uh, a power to damage enemies rather than to, to prime them for uh, cryo explosions. Alright, so next on to Repair Matrix here. 
And basically what's really cool about Repair Matrix, um, it has a couple different things going on and basically uh, it, it can increase your uh, movement speed, it can decrease your damage uh, taken, and uh, regenerate shields and but the the main thing about repair matrix is that when it's activated so if you if you activate one of uh, uh repair matrix right before you go down so right before your character's you know health gets depleted um you will instantly get get back up on your feet so that's basically like having uh more meta gels in your grenade slot and that's that's how you can use uh, repair matrix goes in your in your grenade slot so you know you can be running all over the map and uh you know refilling your grenade slot with repair matrix so you know kind of like uh, a stim pack for like a turian ghost um you know you can just use these repair matrix uh slots all day long when you're playing and and just stay alive for a very long time without having to deplete any of your other consumables um, so that's really what makes the AIU uh, like tops it off. That's like the the cherry on top. Um, you know what makes the AIU so effective. And uh, of course, she also is just really fast. She's got a great dodge, great great melee, uh, both both uh, light melee and uh, you know heavy melee. And um, you know plus being an infiltrator, she's just like a killing machine, really. Um, okay, so let's look at these slats here. So. Um, I personally equipped this uh, for shields restored, and uh, once again, just going back to like the uh, Turing Ghost Infiltrator with the way he uses his stim pack, I really use that as kind of like an ops pack. And um, with this, I I also do that with her. I, I kind of um, you know gear these to be more about uh, shield restoration, and uh, you know, and also just like helping to revive you before you, you know, if you're going to go down rather than having it be about necessarily uh, damage taken or increased movement speed. Um, really because these, these only last, you know, for, for eight seconds or so. And it, it, it would be a different story, you know, if um, this was on a different power and, um, you know, in a different uh, slot uh, where, you know, she would have that increase movement speed the entire time but since it's only for you know eight seconds um it's it's not really uh you know that big of a deal in my opinion but you know once again um this is this is arguable this is something that you know you could do instead uh so the last one i do here is just uh increase the maximum number of charges that can be carried and that's just over uh duration so i definitely think uh charge capacity is much more important and uh, uh sorry i do have this one as well so um okay so this also increases the amount of shields restored and reduces your damage taken um so once again that's this is you know much more geared toward uh, shield restoration kind of like a stim pack um rather than um yeah i think that's definitely more important than take 75 less uh damage because you know once you get up you don't you can just cloak and run away you don't you don't really you know need that too much it's kind of a waste all right, so then unshackled AI. This is just for basically your weapon damage. Um, so for uh, rank four, I just go with uh, weapon damage over uh, damage and capacity. I, you don't really need um, to mess with your capacity too much. It should be fine with this build. Um, and then I also spec it to get headshots because you know you'd be you'd be using the claymore and it's really not that difficult to get headshots with it. So um, that's definitely what you want to do if you can, and I really do that over uh, the power damage because the uh, stat freeze is already really great as it is. And uh, then, of course, if you wanted a little bit more weapon damage, you could spec that as well. And then, lastly, I just have the first three slots here for fitness. Um, so I'm going to be using a cyclonic modulator, and um, you know, like a three or a four. So. Um, that's really plenty of shields with her, you know, plus she's got the repair matrix, you know, plus she's an infiltrator and she's really fast. So, you know, you really don't need to, uh, to waste these points on, uh, on more shields and, and, uh, you know, things like that. So of course, just do what works for you. Once again, as I always say, um, you know, these builds are just templates and you know, so customize them to, to your strengths and do, do what works for you. All right, so like I said, I used the uh, Claymore with this build, and um, 
And uh, it's important to note that uh, you know, with the um, uh, high velocity barrel, uh, this is one of those this is one of those things that um, it uh, does not actually calculate the uh, the weight of this in the game. Um, so you know, this is not something that you can just put this on anything. As, as far as I know, um, you can just put the high velocity barrel on. on you know any of your shotguns and it won't be a problem and then for the uh actually it might just be for dlc shotguns sorry it might just be for dlc shotguns you can look that up um and then i just use the smart choke to uh, give you increased accuracy with the claymore all right and then for equipment um i only have incendiary uh threes at the moment but i would obviously use incendiary fours um, if I have those instead and you know, that's that's uh, useful to uh, be able to prime for fire explosions and then of course your shotgun rail amp here and uh, Suppose if you didn't have uh, any shotgun rail amps, you could also use uh, strength enhancer or targeting VI And then like I said uh, I Use a cyclonic modulator don't have any fours at the moment. So just using a three um, I don't think you really need adrenaline mod because she's already really fast as she is um, if you need any more uh, recharge speed for your cooldowns, you could use uh, power efficiency, and uh, don't you don't really need stabilization module. And lastly, here, um, there's a lot of different things you could do with this. Um, I currently use Shock Trooper with her, and that's just to give her some more uh, repair matrix uh, charges as well as uh, shotgun damage. Of course, you could also just go with uh, shotgun damage. Or you could also go with uh, grenade capacity for more paramatrix charges. Um, another thing that would be good would be um, a berserker package if you're doing a lot of meleeing with the shotgun. That's that's probably something. The other one I use other than shock trooper the most. Um, I think that's really all the ones that really make sense with her. Um, and it, well, of course, if you need any, um, you know, faster recharge speed for your. Uh, for your powers, you can use Omni Capacitors as well. Okay, so that covers the the build. So let's hop into a game and show you how I play with her. Okay, so uh, with my keybinds, I personally use a middle mouse button for my uh, tactical cloak. I use X to use a snap freeze, as you can see there. And then I use F for my repair paramatrix uh, charges. All right. So there you go. You can see all that range on that. I just was able to hit uh, all three of those husks uh, with that. Uh, snap freeze here and uh, I know a lot of other people use um, the Rieger carbine on her that's definitely a perfectly fine choice uh, shotgun wise you could also go with uh, something like the Wraith and uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of other shotguns you can use as well if you don't have any of those unlocked but uh, I definitely suggest using a shotgun with her and uh, taking advantage of that uh, extra uh, extra shotgun damage. So I'll show you here in just a second. Um, if I don't kill one of these guys and they're primed, I can do a fire explosion. So there you go. All right, so another thing I want to show you is uh, her amazing uh, melee, so her light and then heavy melee, so. Just 
do that on one of the okay this uh, actually let's see As good on this husk here. So here's her light melee. There you see, in just two kicks on gold, you can you can kill uh, husks with her light melee. It's, it's really great. You can you know do a whole lot of damage. You can even run up to bosses and and do that on them and and do a lot of damage. And then of course her heavy melee, which I'll show you on this husk here. So it's like her. Uh, her uppercut there, that's also really great. So it's really a pretty simple, uh, pretty simple kit to use. So the last thing I just need to show you here is um, using her repair matrix. So let one of these guys take me down a little bit. I'll, I'll, I'll wait for that last enemy. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> that would have been a perfect, perfect opportunity. Okay, well, I'll use it. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, there we go. So I just used that and he took me down so you can see it restored my shields and also it allows me to get back up immediately after I go down without having to use a, uh, a meta gel. So like I said, you know, you can just keep running around the map and I just see yeah, I just restored that to five, which is the, uh, the max with this particular build. And um, And of course, if you want more of those, you can use a grenade capacity upgrade, or you can use um, you can upgrade the repair matrix slot a little bit more. And I, I think, uh, and actually, I have that upgraded as far as you can go slot wise. So yeah, it's just if you want more than five, you just have to get the uh, grenade capacity um, uh, equipment mod. So. That's really about it. I guess I'll just uh, continue playing a little bit more and just clear three rounds just so you can see her against other enemies like bosses. So once again, I also said, uh, you know, want to try to get headshots if you can and that'll definitely help uh, kill enemies a lot faster, of course. There you go, I just used that repair matrix again to get my uh, shields back up temporarily. Well, not temporarily, but partially, I mean. And uh, you know, if I had teammates, uh, of course, this would there'd be a lot more uh, you know cry explosions going on because I'd just be priming everything, and that would really be my main goal is just to prime as many enemies as possible for cryo explosions for my teammates.
So like I said, she's also got a, a really great dodge, so you can see here. You can go forward and backwards. Absolutely one of the quickest and... Um, You know, best dodges in the game for sure. One of them. So you can see here, <laughs> you can just maneuver so fast, so so easily through everybody. And she's so quick, and she's an excellent medic. Just helping te to revive teammates because she can just weave through everybody. Alright, so let's just finish this round and then we'll wrap this up. And also, like I mentioned earlier, with um, Snap Freeze, you can, of course, uh, you know, kind of whip it around left or right, and that will help you cover more ground, so you can hit a lot more enemies with it. Show you some dodging here with her. She throws her uh, banshee ball at me. There you go. So using that repair matrix there just probably stopped me from uh, going down. Okay, well, I think that's about it. Um, if I missed anything or if there's any other questions you have, just uh, let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. And in the next one, I think we'll move on to the N7 Paladin Sentinel. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time. Captain Bazzi out.